Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, series is going gangbusters. Oh, this is overwhelming. This is very exciting. Being, uh, you're all part of this. The channel uh, exploding. So this is good fun. Um, uh, I'll get in the habit of pointing out that there's a poll. Um, I've just reset the new one. I'm going to do it every 24 hours. Uh, Space Engineers won the last one, so I'll be putting a video of that up shortly uh, this afternoon. Uh, as well, so look to that, um, and I've put up some new stuff. I'll I'll put a link, I suppose, in the description. That might make sense. Perhaps the pinned comment as well. You got to bear in mind that it's like because I'm deleting it after 24 hours. You know, I'm a bit funny about leaving that sort of trash link in every single video. Maybe what I'll do is leave a link to the community page, which is the sort of sub page where the posts go. I'll work something out, but look in the description or the pinned comment if you can't find it, even if you're on an iPad or something. Some people were having some issues with that, and you should be able to get there and, and chuck your vote in. And of course, put down a comment for any other game that you want to see that, well, isn't Hard Space. Not that we're going to stop playing Hard Space, but, you know, I obviously want to curate around you guys. All right. So, um, very quickly, um, there's been a lot of investigation, a lot of a lot of Columbo. Oh god, most of you are probably too young to know that. Um, there's a lot of a lot of talking and discussing around um, how we're going to isolate those bloody fuel pipes, and it seems that there's a little nub in the front of the thruster and behind the connection of the isolation point that you can delete. I've seen it. I it flags as a fuel pipe, but a lot of people are saying that if you delete that, it might be the go, and also. Um, some people are sort of pointing out that maybe you just got to accept the fact that it's going to leak fuel. And I'm like, okay, that's fine, but there's two types of fuel that maybe you're not realizing. There's, there's the purple um, nuclear reactor fuel that comes out, and it looks like bloody arced lightning. And I'm not sure, like, maybe that is just, it looks like that and it's kind of harmless unless it touches something. So the other people pointed out, it's like, maybe just remove all the explosives out of the back and then isolate it. So there will be stuff to happen there, but what we're going to do real quickly is, um, well, not real quickly, what I'm probably going to do this episode is a lot of people keep asking to see what, what it's like to strip an entire ship down and see what we can do. So I'm going to... We'll pick up a... Um, Okay, so they're, they're essentially, they're geckos. The ship grade four and five are the easy and hard gecko, let's say, right? And then you've got ship grade, well, one is the trainee thing, which we probably don't need to do, but two and three are the two sort of types of uh, mackerel, right? So what I might do is we're gonna go, we'll do a grade two ship today, okay? And I'll do two shifts on it, and I'll do my best to absolutely salvage the living shit out of everything. We'll do what we can. Um, I'm not sure how quickly or how long that, like, maybe two shifts is unrealistic, and, and people are probably curious how much you'll make doing it, so we're going to give it a go. I am open if we progress this way and people want to see me, you know, what, what do they say in the game, use the whole buffalo or whatever. If we get to a point where we're doing, like, the, the tier five bloody geckos, I'm going to have to batch record a couple of episodes, though, um, because you don't necessarily get to keep the salvage, uh, like, when I turn the game off, it deletes the game in your sort of bay. That's why I was confused about the holding of how many days sort of thing. So if I record it all in one session, I should be able to do it. So we can do that. Um, let me know what you reckon, guys. I'm totally open to it. Okay, so we'll pick one of these. Um, what do we reckon? Look at that tonnage. We probably... Let's go for value. Yeah, look at this one. Light cargo. We've got light cargo and we've got station hoppers. Um, you know what, actually? Part of me is like, let's do the station hopper. That seems like the standard thing. Let's do a station hopper first, and then maybe we'll do like a light cargo afterwards. All right? Station hopper, claim ship. Now, at this tier, I don't believe we're going to need an isolation key. Um, because I don't think any of the... Oh, look at this. I've forgotten. We've still got the bug, and it hasn't been patched out yet. Uh, controls. There you go. For those that maybe missed it, <laughs> I invert my controls because I'm not a bloody savage. Um, and for whatever reason, it doesn't remember it when you log in. And I found that if you turn it off and on again, that fixes it. So like, what? But that works. All right, cool. So we have a look here. We've got very limited systems. Is, the is that the power cell all the way back there? That's strange. And you can see that even the nuclear reactor is not actually technically attached to the thruster, but that's that's the section there that people would suggest you cut off, I think. All right, so we've got some nacelles, and we've got uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Got a few tanks in there. Nice. All right. So I guess we get in there and we do our best. This is cool. A little trip down memory lane. I guess it'll be tutorial-esque. So I'll try and talk us through it as we go. So obviously we want to we want to flush the entire ship, and that's easy to equalize. It just opens all the doors and does that. But then you've got the airlock has air in it, generally speaking. So you have to flush the airlock as well. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Because you can see me cutting that by accident when I'm in the walls or whatever. All right, it's probably smart cookie business. There you go. There's the first cut lag, I think. Um, I think pulling this out the bottom is the go. Let's um. Oh come on, for crying out loud, you idiot! Let's go. Oh no, there's your first cut lag. All right, cool. Now we're good, team. Now we're good for the rest of the video. <laughs> All right, give it a little baby bump. Now people have suggested you just tether that straight out. It's probably a good idea, to be honest. That music, man, is... It scares the shit out of me. It's like the Terminator's coming. Dun-dun, dun-dun. Wow, there's like no work orders on this level. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, so what I should have done first, actually, to get the ball rolling, was cut the head off this thing. You cut these four struts, right? Oh, my fingers. Hot, hot. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not the thruster fuel. All right. Cutting the head off that is legit. Um, I would like very much to, like, get out quickly. Is, is there a cargo hatch on the roof of this model? There isn't. Um, that's okay. We can just cut the roof off. Oh Jesus, that went straight through bloody... I guess we can cut that as well? Okay. Oh, is it? What's sparking on that? Wait, I think I accidentally... Yeah, <laughs> it's the light going ballistic in there. I accidentally hooked the light, not the panel. Okay, that's cool. So what we want to do here is, um... Now, actually, you know what? Someone suggested something interesting. In that maybe if I... What was it? This, this could be really... This could be game-changing, because getting shit out of the cockpit is a bloody nightmare. Right? Now, structurally... I think it was suggested... Maybe I, um... Jeez, you know what? You can bloody piss off. You're upsetting me there. I think if we maybe burn this... What I'm... Sorry, I, I'm good at finishing my sentences. Uh-oh. Is that fire? No. Um... Someone suggested that maybe if you pull all the furniture out of this thing and then drag it away under zero G, all the furniture will stay in place. Jesus, what happened there? Is it because I'm holding onto the thing that's disintegrating? It, you know what? It 100% is. Alright. Let's see. Is there, can I pull that door off? No. But it's definitely the door that's stopping me. Oh geez, we're drifting. No, I'm trying to aim for the... 
Jesus, what is going on? Like something, there was a weird physics reaction. Well, anyway, it's probably not gonna, it's probably not gonna work that way now. Now that it's sort of twisting. Let's do that just to let it calm down. Yeah, yeah, so you suggested you pull all the furniture out and then then pull it away towards the front shop sort of thing, which I think is very clever. Um, but uh, obviously it's not going to work in this particular run. Um, now, there's no way to isolate this, but you can just... Why aren't you attached? That's distressing. I think if we do that, it'll delete it from the pipe. Yeah, okay, that's... That seems to be some form of isolation. Um, I wasn't planning on... I'm getting stuck there. I wasn't planning on taking the fuel tank out straight away, but it seems to want to come with me, so... Alright. Sounds empty. Reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Was there O2 in here? There is a little bit, yeah. Alright. Sorry about the piss farting around with the cockpit team, but I just wasn't 100% sure with that. Good to know, though, that it might, like, even if it's a good strategy with what uh, I can't remember who it was specifically was suggesting about pulling the, um... About pulling the, the furniture out. It's clearly a little bit hit and miss. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Um, so that might not be the optimal strategy for us, okay? Alright, so we'll do that. Do that. These engines strip externally, I believe. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh shit, I've hooked the wrong thing. Come on, there we go. Um, it might be worth mentioning because we're getting more and more traffic. I'm playing with the controller, but I'm on PC. People keep asking how I have it on Xbox. I don't. It wouldn't run on an Xbox, I don't think. No offense to the console types, but um, I truly don't think this would this would run on the uh, current generation systems with the memory usage that they have. Uh. This what an unpleasant little room, hey? Now we got a problem. Let's see if we can get the fuel tank out. It becomes a lot more maneuverable like this. The problem is that that bloody fuel cell sparks. When you pull it out, potentially. God damn it. This is the worst configuration. I can't say I've ever seen this. Alright, well, our only real option is to pull this bloody power cell out. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it arced, but it missed the fruit of the fuel. That's so shit. I've never seen a power cell spawn back there before. I can't believe it sparked and it missed the fuel tank. Oh my god, what an absolute crock of shit.
All right. Getting that fuel tank out. I don't really want to cut in there if I can help it, right? And I, I don't want to go cut in the airlock just yet either because that's going to be messy too. So as people have suggested, we might want to cut the bum off this thing. Now, on this model, uh, it might not come free there. We need to cut this. Like, once you've got fuel pipes running through walls and shit, it gets a little bit more complicated, but that might... Oh, Jesus, what did I just do then? I think I damaged the, uh, the release for the... ...thing. Now, the, 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 the thruster plate should come out on its own. And this, this is actually not cheap. Like, it's worth salvaging this thing. Nice. The hedgehogs. The tank traps. There we go, that is coming away smoothly. That's nice. But I'm almost certain that's not how it goes in the later models. Oh! Are you kidding? It's right in the crack! Cool, we've had some rough luck in this mission. But that's alright, we're getting there. Look at it go, we've cut it open. The feeling of accomplishment, team, it's legitimate. Alright, let's get this bloody thing out. Oh. Are there any other oxygen tanks in here? There, oh, there's a tank or two, but they might be thruster fuel. Like, that's thruster fuel. That, I think, is thruster fuel. Yeah, look, let's not piss fart around. I'm gonna stick around for the end of the shift, so I might as well buy some oxygen. Eee. I've only got two tethers left. Ah. That's all right. We'll do some. We'll do some cuts. I'll, I'll uh. I'll salvage some stuff out of here, actually. That said, as people have pointed out, it's it is a lot easier to just open the the whole thing up. Time is winding down, Cutter. Dig deep and let's finish strong. So we'll cut these. There's only two little joints for each floor and roof panel. So that'll start coming loose. Nice, the whole thing's starting to rotate. Uh, might as well, we'll cut the roof loose as well. Oh, now this, this is like a piece of metal holding it all across. Oh, utility key, yay. Oh God, I can't get it that cut. Okay, not bad, not bad. 1.3 million, that's okay. Um, and then and then you sort of just assess everything. The reactor was half a million. Um, the panels are as expected. Fuel tanks are okay, antennas are okay. Nacelles bring it in. Same with the power cell. See the thruster caps, 50 grand, so that's good. Um, but yeah. A few, a few little bits and bobs got destroyed, but nothing too exciting. Alright, cool. 
And there's my half million. Um, oh, equipment. Repair. I'll repair the grapple. Apparently when it hits zero, it just becomes US. Which, um... Not ideal. To be honest. Let's uh, upgrade that. Electrical resistance. That sounds sensible. Oh, here we go. What's this? Break? Yeah. Okay. Start shift. Continue salvage. Yeah, yeah. So is that 1.3 for all the work that we've done so far? We haven't really deleted anything significant either. Get out of the way. I don't know what we're going to do with that thruster fuel. It's just getting in the way. Oh man, it makes such a difference. The, the, the boop, the strength of the boop now is very, well, strong. Can I salvage the chip packet? <laughs> Put it in the furnace. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Alright. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Oh, whoops. So, it must have de-grappled in that second, because deploying those grapples is the same button as pulling the thing in. Salvage Left trigger. Credits transferred. Something like the med kit. Can that go in the... Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Can you... Nope. Okay. Cool to know. Uh, airlock panels are worth 50 grand each, so... Big money! Right, here we go. We've got some thruster fuel in there. Got the last little bit that we didn't cut. Alright. This, I think that's worth about 50 grand. Alright. Now everything else left is uh, sort of... We're going to use that just... I don't want it around to explode. Off to the furnace with you, young chap. You can see there's like a health bar at the top as well, sort of, it gives you an idea of the status of the ship and how much we've salvaged. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought we cut these off. The one tricky bit of business here is the bloody airlock. And because it's so hard wired in with bloody aluminium. Alright. 
So, I think what we'll do is we'll strip out the electronics from the airlock. Because the airlock, like the cockpit, pretty pretty quickly goes into the uh, too hard basket for me. Like I'm all for, I'm all for uh, getting efficiency. Doesn't this have an air cycle unit in it as well? Maybe not. Now let's identify. There's a door. There, there are doors in there, right? That's the one thing that throws me. Alright, so technically they're different slabs, that's why it cut like that. You can see down there at the bottom. Oh now, isn't that interesting? Oh no! That uh, mm, okay, the fact that that came away so easily. That throws me for a loop. A little bit. Now, the, the one thing is, that, like I said, there's a door inside this panel. Um, nanocarbon. I don't, I don't know if there's much we can do about that. Morning. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable levels. Yeah, yeah. How are we going? Minute 30 will be all right for the moment. Okay, but meanwhile, this, apart from that door being stuck in there, this whole thing is furnace ready. Object Credit deposited. Oh. No, no, that was right, yeah, yeah. The tiniest scraps of aluminium got destroyed. God damn it. It's interesting, there's some sort of gravity field generated by the two things, so if, if you put it in between, you get all sorts of problems. Raw material processed. Credit deposited. Yeah, yeah, all right. Jesus Christ, with the with the music and. Welcome to Vivitron 9000. Oxygen level stabilizing. All right, now we've got to do everyone's favourite, the bloody cockpit. So this isn't so bad. We've been moving at a fairly leisurely pace. You know, there was room for me to experiment a little bit at the beginning and and kind of mess up. And I think we, we're going to get pretty close to salvaging this whole thing. If not, like, we definitely do it. Yeah, this is the thing that throws me. Getting at the door. Right, so there's corner struts in here. What I'm actually doing is deleting that entire corner out. So I believe the walls are all disconnected now. I mean, they're being held on by... Furniture. Oh, look, there's front struts as well. Kills me. Okay, let's do this, because because we know.
God damn it. Yeah, yeah. So the real problem with this whole structure is obviously it's laced nanocarbon all the way around the sides. But this this whole front section is nanocarbon as well, so there's no cut in this. See? Same as that. So what I was attempting to do was cut these like door cases off before. I think if I do this, that it'll come out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, hey, that came out, that's for sure. All right, so here we go. We're in the scenario that old mate was probably talking about. About if we can if we can set the, the cockpit up like this and then maybe disconnect everything in there. We could probably let it float, you know? Salvage secured. Credits deposited. You can see the floor and the ceiling are all falling off as well because I took out those corner struts. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Alright. Oh. oh, you know, it's your lucky, lucky day, Mr. Light. We'll salvage you. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. All right, yeah. So if we can get that door frame off, oh, well, you can see... St oh, wow, Jesus just launches off. That's interesting how pulling this off loosened that, so that's cool. Really? Are you going in? We'll come back to you. Because you are just a piece of aluminium. The problem is that these panels are worth so little. Like, they're worth... They're worth stuff in, uh... Oh, come on. They're worth, uh, like, work order... Numbers. It's like Ikea, but back to front, you know? Just pulling the flat pack to pieces. It is cool though, like, whereas an Ikea flat pack is designed to be constructed, these aren't designed to be deconstructed. I was thinking about that the other day. Like, they're designed to be put together well and easily and modular, but pulling them apart, pfft. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder, whatever close 30 seconds eh
Now there's a piece of glass in the front. There's no easy way to release glass. You just gotta cut it out. Ugh. Did that last bit of cockpit get in? I don't think so. I'm not sure. So what do we get there? 1.3 million thereabouts. That's pretty good. Nanocarbon panel carries the day. Look, the seats all added up. Eight of them got us over 100,000. 100, the airlock consoles, obviously, uh, finished up on the engines. But nothing else really... Oh, storage bin? Three? Did I not get four of them in? I guess if... Because there should be four. I must have missed with one of them. Um, four of them will probably get us about 100 grand then. And the computer terminals as well. So even the... Think about the computer terminals, the electronics from the front. Like, the, the inside stuff in the airlock is not to be sneezed at. For sure. All right? So we definitely want to pull all the guts out of that. And we've gotten, what, 1.3 million out of this... Uh, out of this shift, and we got about the same on the last time, so what's that, 2.6, but a million in daily fees, right? So, so do your math there, however you want to see it. So not quite 3 million, but that's not bad, and we managed to get through the whole thing in one go. So uh, let me know what you guys reckon if you want to see more of that sort of thing, because we might have to, with the higher models, if you want to see me consume the whole thing, I'll record a couple of episodes in a row, so I get the multiple shifts. In. Um, and then we'll have a bloody story time with Scarlet. What's this? Junius Kano, shipping manager. Hey, Martin. How good's that text? Junius. I got that shipment in from Earth. Yeah. <laughs> Still haven't heard back from the guy on Mars about the quote, but when I do, I'll let you know. But it didn't sound good. Oh, not good. After the budget you gave me, it might not be an option. That's all I'm saying. Oh, okay. That's a lot of paint to ship up here after all. But I think my biggest worry is... Pink. <laughs> really? Pink. Pink. Neon. Day glow pink. Why, buddy? Why? <laughs> Why, buddy? Why? <laughs> oh, great. All right, team. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, like I said, check out the poll in the community tab. Uh, throw in a comment if, if uh, the game that you want isn't there, and I'll put it into a rotation for future ones. And that way you guys can help me shape some of the videos on this channel daily, and we can all sort of grow together. All right, team. We might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you on the next one.